Give me just a moment. I am working on a post right now, so I will boost. I I shall be starting soon. Where's my game? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, but just a moment. My PNG tuber isn't working like it's supposed to be. Hello? 
not even responding to my microphone. What the heck? I wasn't expecting technical difficulties at this point. Give me just a moment. Actually, uh... Pardon the technical difficulties. At least this is super easy to fix. Beep, beep. Uh-oh, it's still not working. Oh, really? Are you serious? Why is it... Oh, it should be Blue Snowball. Forgot to mention, um... Well, actually, you know what? I can use the microphone on the this headset. Um... Forgot to mention... Um, I asked my dad if I could borrow his, um, Astro A50s, because what I've been using in the past has been, um, the A10s, and, um, I could change the microphone for, for, oh, hi, sorry, I was, like, super focused on trying to fix things. I was not expecting to have, um, some issues. But for some reason, my, uh, my microphone was being a little silly and was having technical issues. But I'm good! Thanks for- thanks for showing up! Now- now we are done with, uh, the technical issues. Kind of. I'm technically using two microphones right now. <laughs> But overall, everything should be good. Oh, is the game gonna freeze again? Okay, we're good. We're all good. The only thing we need to fix is the display mode. Why is this? Why capture device two? Why is there? audio for that. Well, it's not doing anything, so that's just a little whatever, I guess. But, um, it's so strange using new headphones. It- my day's going pretty good. I woke up quite early, so I was able to finish a new post. Um, but I am also getting adjusted to using new headphones because before i just had astro a10s and um they were just a hand-me-down from my dad and i'm borrowing his a50s right now and uh <laughs> it's so trippy because you don't realize how poor your 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 headphone quality is until you use new headphones but i was also not expecting to have technical issues with my PNG tuber program because apparently um, it just picks one microphone and uh, picks that as like the default and you can't choose any of the others so I have two microphones active right now and it's a little silly uh, I might try another stream in the future with the microphone on the A50s, but um, it already took me forever to set up the audio with the blue snowball. So, so that, that'll that definitely probably uh, be something I save for like maybe next week or something. Or I'll just try it offline and see how it sounds in recordings. I think what I was going to do here is I was going to build up my base more. Man, <laughs> yeah, it's been it's it's been a little unexpected. You change one thing and then every but everything else freaks out. I, I really enjoy talking about the technical stuff that goes into 
streaming because I am learning as I go. And I feel like a lot of people who watch don't know about that much about the technical aspects either. And, like, I didn't know really anything about all the different technical things and I had to use a lot of uh, Google to help me. I was looking for resin. Hardest thing to find in this freaking planet. I think I might be able to use my soil centrifuge though. That I've always liked to brainstorm out loud about either what I've been doing or what I'm going to do. And uh I just feel like that's just it's just better. Just to share all the behind the scenes stuff. Google is everybody's best friend. Yeah, very, very true. Finding it. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find good things. Not always. There's always some, some things where like it just defaults to like something that autofills the question, which which can be um, dangerous for anybody who doesn't know how to navigate um, the internet and search engines, but there's so much reliable stuff you can find through Google. next thing I might try to do is um, make a, a trade platform, but I'll need to get the resources for that. But I guess we're going to be doing more planet hopping today, but I suppose that's just kind of normal at this point. That is pretty, pretty nice. Like, I, I, I bet at one point I'm gonna be able to do all the crazy, some of the crazy tech stuff that I see other streamers do. Like, I'm still a little unsure about what to do with, um, custom alerts, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure that all out eventually. For now, we just we just go in with the flow. I've always benefited more from figuring things out as I go, anyway. Oh, thanks for following, Sun C M P J Dog Sunder J Dog. I don't know how to how how exactly <laughs> you. So quartz is to activate Silas Quart. Yes, quartz is. Wait, I think it's quartz. Hold on, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure it is quartz. Cool materials. J dog. Cool. Nice. Yeah, it is quartz. Quartz is Silva's material. Good afternoon! It is currently 2.12 p.m. for me. Let's see. I think I'll leave that for now.
Hmm. I don't know if I can do much else right now without leaving. Because I'd like to make some extra large platforms just to have more areas for my stuff. So I think what I'll do... Mm. No, I don't want to use my small shuttle. I don't really feel a need for doing that. Because I've got all that other stuff. But I think... Uh, let's, uh... Let's go to Novus. I haven't been there in a while. It's been a while. remember the last time I was here because it's such a pain it's such a pain to run around on Novus but I was thinking either going to Glacio and just finding another area to dig iron out of or just stopping by Novus again but you know what I need to remember that there's some there's some stuff here that I could use too I actually have some spare tungsten laying around as well from my trade platform. I think no, I should get some more if I can. I think this this little cache is empty. It's so crazy the quality difference between the A10s and the A50s, the Astro uh, headsets, um, because I've just been using the A10s for so long because um, I don't have Bluetooth on my PC, at least I don't think I do. But um, the 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 A50s have a little docking thing, so it's all it's all good and 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 it's, it's comfy. I can't formulate words right now. I keep getting distracted because it's such a dramatic shift in what I'm used to hearing. Because it's it's so much cleaner than I expected. Because I thought the A10s were pretty good, but. Like, it it's just happens every time with uh, an upgrade in quality. It's like, oh, you thought your... your... your old headphones were still good? Haha, <laughs> try these things out. And then your brain explodes, because it's like... What the... what is this? <laughs> I forgot I left you here. But I think that's all I need 
for the trade platform. Let me check. Yes. Oh, that's right. I can just stick these up here. What's interesting about the microphone on the headset, though, is that you can kind of hear your own audio input in your headphones, especially if you, like, breathe on or bump the microphone. I, like... Like, just like a. It's just kind of. It's like, oh, I can hear that for some reason. Yeah, it's a little unexpected, but it's, it's at least good feedback for like your general um, activity, I guess. I'm not sure I'm not a giant uh, audio nerd like my dad is. Which is funny because I was in band in high school. But um, I guess I kind of lost my touch with uh, that kind of thing, but it's not really audio quality that you listen for, but rather like melodies and stuff. I am incredibly rusty at, at music stuff though. I have considered getting back into it personally though, since it was more of like a hobby than something I sought after like a profession. Just thinking about the potential of getting a a keyboard and just going meow 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 meow. And I've thought about getting like a sound editing program to try getting into music that way. And it's always good to keep hobbies. Since I, since I want to do art stuff as a profession, it's always good to have some sort of hobby. Nice. Ooh, but I don't have a shredder. I should be able to get... I think I, I think I've run enough iron. Yes. I wasn't even thinking, but I already thought ahead somehow. <laughs> what is with the ambience right now? A little une uneasy. But I spent a lot of my morning uh, listening to my favorite songs on Spotify with these headphones, and my goodness, it was amazing! Like, like learning to love my favorite songs all over again. It was pretty crazy. This music really is something else though. I haven't heard this track in the game yet before. Man, this makes me think of uh, a certain area on this planet. I 
because there's a certain uh, terrain on this planet that is absolutely crazy. And, um... It just, it's, it's a nightmare to explore and it really weirds me out, so... I will not be approaching it at any point. I only approached it when I needed to. I could blow that up later. Got a little bit of scrap though. But now that I have the option of using these headphones, I will definitely um, have a, a much more a me-friendly setup whenever I start doing drawing streams. Because one of my biggest concerns was having an appropriate microphone while also still being in a comfortable position because I would need to set up my laptop for streaming instead of just my, um, my PC. thinking about just making stuff and scrapping it but I don't think that's a very good idea since I can just look for more uh, more leftover sites Oh, I forgot about these. Dang, I totally forgot about this. I could absolutely hook that up to my base. Oops. I got too close. Yeah, I hear you. You don't like bouncing around. But we are on a mission. But I have totally forgotten about this. Because instead of doing the standard, um, the standard, just a bunch of small generators trick that I would normally do, I decided to actually, uh, take the time and make something more impressive. And actually, I think I found some, some of these laying around, especially the batteries. But I can't remember for sure since it's been a while since I activated the, uh, this planet. If I had a large shredder, I could probably scrap those. So far, everything is looking great. Large shredder. Ooh, that's right, I would need tungsten carbide. I can eventually get that, as well as the exochips. 
A tungsten carbide requires tungsten and carbon, and I can get carbon really easy, but I would need to get scrap for the platform to get tungsten because I don't feel like leaving the planet. And I can go get some estronium down, down below. Or if I find some dynamite, I can blow up with that exocache. I think I might look for some more scrap sites. Just get some more bundles. Because I shouldn't need. Well, actually, I would need a bit of a. quite a bit of scrap to get some tungsten. As I. Was like, oh, it's cheap. No, it isn't. <laughs> I remember now. It costs uh, three scrap to get two tungsten. But it's so lovely how going on the harder planets gives you so much more good stuff that you can- Oh, shit! Whoa! Honestly, I did not even see that. It scared me. Ugh. I was too focused. But honestly, um, it's- Yeah, boom! It scared the shit out of me! You! There we go. Get out of here. Oh, no way! Ooh, that's nice. I did not expect to find a portable smelting furnace here. Because I was just planning on getting that on my own at some point. But my goodness. Wow, that's nice. Uh, let's see. More scrap. More scrap for me. Yes, please. But, uh, I think this little area is done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those things always scare me. The freaking attack to- the attack die. I can leave the carbon because that's easy to make. Because I need more space to get just a little more uh, scrap. I shouldn't need too much though. Like, I won't need three full things since I've already got a partially finished heap of scrap at, at the base. Mm, yeah, that should be enough. Because I can't really do much else until I get the big scrapper. Or the large shredder. <laughs> I keep, I keep, uh, mixing up the names. But you know what? The, we all know what, what, what a big scrapper would be. Just making more scrap. <laughs> Honestly, this is my favorite little bug in this game. And you're still walking around, even in the air. I don't remember how much these give. Woo! That is so many bites. Mm. 
And here's where my my little tunnel is. the way um mr drew too uh i recommend once you get past desolo that you just look up what the other core materials are because it gets a little more complicated than just going back and getting the material you need at that point the research yeah it's insane oh wait yeah you sh you you if you if you already know the Atrox stuff, then you probably know a bit about the the core materials. Cause it does get more complicated. But the real big one is on Atrox because the material is something that you can't get on the planet. It's absolutely baffling how much of how many bites you can get from the research on the harder planets. can start setting this up. Yeah, hydrogen. Yeah, I remember all of them. It's quartz, um, zinc. And then I remember for Calidor it's explosive explosive powder. Um, I believe what was Vasania? I don't remember Vasania. I know Novus is silicone and then Glacia is diamonds and Atrox is hydrogen. Vasania is graphene, that's what that one is. I remember um, the first time I played through this game. And I went without looking up what the materials were for the cores. And I went to Calidor pretty much blind. And I was so heartbroken to find out that it was something I couldn't make yet. Because I couldn't make a, an atmospheric condenser since I had no access to iron yet. But once I was able to get that, um, I was all good to go. But I definitely had a, a much easier time through my playthrough on stream, simply because I came with with uh, season with some seasoned experience. Ooh, I want to see how this works. Ooh, that drains your power fast. <laughs> that is really loud. Uh, I'll just steal that and see if that uh, fixes it. It draws two units of power. That's so cool though. But that's weird because... Oh, then this, this draws power too, that's right. Organic. 
Wait, don't leave. I need you. Tungsten carbide. There we go. And an extra chip, iron and tons of carbide. I forgot to get the astrodium! <sighs> but, um, anyway, um, I will be right back. I need to use the restroom. My chair is stuck on my rug. Hold on. <laughs> Ow. All right, now we're back. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm pretty sure that was already done, but. It just finally decided to go off. Woo! Uh oh. Ow. I'm glad I changed my general digging method, so it's a lot more <laughs> uh, friendly on, on, on my poor little legs. One of my long-term goals um, for streaming this game is, um, getting all the achievements, and, um, I already, I already know what to do about, uh, two of the ones that I have left. I only have three achievements left, and one of them is a hidden achievement, and I think I know what it is. But to find out that only, like, 2.3% of players have gotten all the achievements, was really, really interesting. Oh, I don't have enough room. Can I just stick that? Yes. Okay, there we go. But the two achievements I need that I know of are ones that I can't get on stream, and I still haven't quite been able to uh, take the time to do those with my friend. 
It's just two of the multiplayer achievements. It's, um... Researching something in somebody else's worlds and taking a shuttle with somebody. I still haven't done those two simply because... I just haven't had the time to. And neither has he. But that's fine. Then the other achievement... Is, uh... I think I know what it is. It's probably getting, like, all of the things... In the... In the... In the little... Uh, research thing. With, with the, the bites shop, that thing. I never know what to call it. But I only have a few things left, and... Um, I'd been researching something from Glacio that has a lot of bites. Oh, that has given me a crazy amount of bites. Not to mention the little thing that I found in the core of <laughs> of this planet. But I think the only thing, the only things I have left... ...are in the medium printer. I thought maybe there was something left in the small printer, but nope. All I have left are... ...three things. The crane... And these two storage silos. And I don't even have enough to get the rest of those. But I will soon. But I will not be finishing that achievement. Um. Until uh, I get to do the other two. Because really, getting all of those things would really, truly be <laughs> a completionist kind of thing. And that's... Well, technically, there's four achievements left. But the, the fourth achievement is simply just finishing every other achievement. <coughs> Sorry, I ran out of tea, so my throat's a little dry, but I'm alright. Is what I thought. Three for one exochip. For a, for a bit, I was debating on whether or not I should go to. <sighs> Damn. I, I made a new post, and, um... The one thing that's worse than, um... Art bots? Are... NFT collectors. Like, they just show up and they're like, Hey! Uh, here's my copy-paste samey, uh, response of... Uh, I like your art, let me make an NFT out of it. And I was just like... No. Go away. I don't actually respond. I just simply um, block them and, and delete the comment. Because, like, nobody has time for stresses like that. And speaking of stressors... There's nothing that stresses me out more than when, when, um... Somebody... Um, who doesn't even follow me, DMs me, and just says a vague message, like, just saying, hey. Just the singular word. And it's like, uh... I am not responding to that, because it that could be anything. That could lead to anything. And I especially don't trust it if it's someone that doesn't even follow me. And that may sound a, a tad bit, uh, 
like selfish to some, especially to anybody who has done that. But really, like, the internet tends to be kind of like the Wild West sometimes. And you really just need to remember to keep yourself safe. And if that means not responding to a vague DM, then that's what I'll do. Plain and simple. I wonder if I can scrap this. I was like, I know it produces a little bit of power, but I really, really just don't like that it's there anymore. taking forever there we go let's see no uh because it's probably like a platform so it would need to be in the extra large shredder uh, it's fine Now I'm prepared. So much scrap. That's really nice. Actually, let me check. Extra large shredder. And some carbide and steel. If I have some carbide, we can make again super easy. But what do I need for steel? I need argon. I don't remember if Argon is available here or not. I don't think it is. Well, I should check out here. Yeah, Argon is one of the two gases not available here, but that's fine. We don't really need an extra large shredder. I will say having explosive powder would be really nice. Judging by the fact that there's methane and sulfur on this planet, I think it's safe to assume that this place is a little smelly. I'm not really sure what to do right now. It's just carbon and sulfur, so yeah, I could just... That. Oh, shit. That's so silly. And definitely not something I'll get used to. I was just making some explosive powder to go in and blow up some stuff, because that would make this much easier. Because then I'd have more scrap to use. I'm really debating whether or not that would actually be worth it, because I don't really have a super developed base here. But what would be worth it would be making some of these Preferably the, um, an extra large wind turbine. Because I already have a solar array that I found. And while the, the lovely, lovely sun is more preferable over the wind, it would still be nice to have more power regardless. So iron, ceramic, graphene, and a little bit of alloy. That needs hydrogen. I don't have hydrogen. I do. 
know where I could get some hydration for this. Yes. There is. Nice. I'll just leave this here. I wonder. Mm, plastic and glass. What, are, what does plastic use again? Oh, carbon and compound, that's it? Then I can make that super easy. And then I can do what I did on Desolo and collect an absolute baffling amount of astronium and bring it back with me. Whoa! Whoa! I believe there is some quartz nearby. I'm a bit sleepy today. Yeah, because I woke up really early. Like, stupid early. Not on purpose, just, just like, because I went to bed fairly early as well. Aha! I knew there was some near here. But I made me now sleepy. So this stream might not last as long as some of my other ones. But honestly, I've I've been more excited to to stream tomorrow because Mondays and Tuesdays are dedicated astronaut streams. And tomorrow I'm starting a new game. What game you might ask? Is a secret, is a surprise. But mostly because I have like two ideas and I haven't decided which one just yet. Well, who knows? I might even play two games. Nah, that would that would be too much for me. <laughs> Probably one on Wednesday and another one on Thursday. Right, also when I have a short stream, because I'm also hungry. And I realized I haven't eaten in a, in a little bit. Ah, so excited. I'm gonna make so much stuff. And I should uh, collect some Some, some graphite while I'm... You don't like surprises? Well, that's alright. Sometimes they can be a little... Um, overwhelming. I was, I was thinking between two games. I'll definitely be playing both of them, but like, I don't know which one to play on Wednesday and which one to play on Thursday. But one game I want to play is off because um, the 15th anniversary just happened on the 5th. I missed it, but I still want to play it anyway. And then the other game I want to play is Iron Lung, and I haven't played any spooky games on stream yet. So I thought that would just be a fun change of pace. I think I remember, I don't think I can actually, um, compress the, uh, canister once it's been filled with something. I just remembered that. I wonder if the duplication glitch still exists. I 
think the duplication glitch was um, essentially just like putting a packager on top of a packager or packaging a packaged item. I don't remember exactly, but I know it would involve two packagers and you'd end up getting like one of the packagers would end up being replaced with uh, the item. So you'd end up with two of uh, the same item. But I don't know if that counts as a glitch or an exploit. Because, like, exploits would manipulate the already existing programming. Like, um... Like, for example, the nut jump in Super Mario Odyssey. That technically really isn't a glitch, but rather an exploitation of the physics. Same thing with most of the, uh... Speedrunning things in, uh... Zelda Breath of the Wild. But not Tears of the Kingdom, because a lot of those glitches are actual glitches and not exploits. Because, like, the movement glitches in Breath of the Wild would manipulate bullet time and um, just simply mess with the pre-existing um, physics between the, the time manipulation that the game itself does on purpose. And that's also why um, they still exist in the most recent version of Breath of the Wild, simply because they wouldn't be really patchable. But pretty much all of the uh, movement glitches in Tears of the Kingdom, with a few exceptions, have been patched out. It's so cookie this pro skinner is two dots this whole mountain but check the whole thing twice now i with whenever i would use it um i would just scan pretty frequently to help like locate where i needed to go i don't know if i don't know if that tip will help but i just recommend like just standing still and then using it and figuring out the general direction and then just frequently repeating that for a while. Because that's just what I did whenever, whenever I did the probes. Because some of them are really far away. Like, I've, I had to... Uh, journey pretty far on Glacio to find that one. Now that I think about it after giving my examples, I think the packaging glitch would be would be in fact a glitch since it would be, um, duplication. I forgot about the part of it. <laughs> yeah! It, it's like, it's, I didn't know how it worked whenever I did it on Silva because I got lucky and it was super close to where I was at. So yeah, I, I absolutely get that. Oh, hello! I did not expect to see you here. Get out of here. <laughs> Yay, good job! Honestly, finding the probes was very fun. Especially once um, I got one of the Galastropods, um, Stilgar, because um, that one produces oxygen, so it makes the whole process a lot easier. Let's see. I 
probably find another patch. I didn't get any more. I did, it's lying to me. Okay, there is some more here. It's just being dumb. this this um node is the one that i keep returning to so there should be a lot of astronium around this yes there it is nice leaving this over here so I can retrace my steps a little easier. Man, I'm sleepy and hungry. Double whammy. I'll fill up this container completely. Mm, but maybe I should for for long term reasons. Besides, it's pretty much halfway full. Well, almost. So it shouldn't take forever. Besides, this uh, little cache is pretty jam-packed. Besides, there's honestly nothing more satisfying than hearing hearing the collection noise go off multiple times super quickly in succession. say I've had surprisingly poor luck with finding astronium on other planets for some reason. Even on the moons where like there's not really much room for them to spawn out of sight. Besides it's not like they spawn anywhere else. They're only at the core. Besides, I think because of the general function of the material um, and uh, the fact that you can't really like find it or use it in, in a typical way, 
it very much um, feels like a finite resource compared to everything else. But I don't, I don't think there's any other way to get astronium other than to actually manually get it. I mean, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I'd hate to eventually run out and play for that long. color on these is just so pretty. I've always loved the way Astronium looks. And, and <laughs> if I remember who I found out that they don't have much of a use at some point. And, and <laughs> I, I was so disappointed. I was like, what do you mean I can't use the pretty material? Scammed. One more, and then we'll be done. There we go. Good to go. Here we go. It's all full now. And we can go home. I just realized I do have an extra container of hydrazine, so I could have made the graphene. But I'm really saving that for my my little jet because nothing would be sadder than running out of that and having to go back to a planet where I can make hydrazine. I think I have a trade platform in every plat or every planet now. Yeah, I think I think I'm correct. Because I'm trying to recall in my mind. Because I know which planets I for sure have them. Trying to think, is there anything I forgot? I don't know. I think I finally got all of all of the planets with the with a satisfactory amount of things. A nice and satisfying base. So now, I can pretty much make anything anywhere. Of course, there would be the limitations of uh, atmospheric resources and just accessibility in general. But overall, we've got a much more versatile setup than we had before, where I would have to always head back to Silva to go to that base and make stuff there. But now, that's stuff situated everywhere. Although, I do... I do still only have a field shelter on Desolo. And I still need to bring a full shelter over there. But that won't take forever. Actually, that won't take long at all. Because I should still have some plastic left over. And I can make silicone here pretty easily, I think.
<laughs> Imagine playing this with your friend and just waiting around for them to come back up. And they just come up hauling this big thing and they're like, Yep, I got all that I need. What all does silicone need? Resin and quartz fit? Because we got the methane part taken care of. Easy peasy. I can go get some resin and quartz. You just hate it whenever you're going downstairs and you break your legs. Happens every time. sound effect but unfortunately because it's so quiet and so similar to the collection sound it's a little hard to tell just how much quartz you get since the audio cues are so important all right did i seriously get turned around that easy Okay, I think it's over there, because those look like things I've, I've done to the cave. Yeah, I've done this. I did this myself. And I know a patch where I can get some resin real easy. And then we can make some silicone. And then head to Desolo. Yeah, two biggest gripes I have with this game is the sound effect for quartz and the fact that three of the six gases are blue. Why are three of them blue? And and the other three not not like the other three are easy to tell apart, but then three of them are the exact same color with two of them having very similar rings on them. And I believe it's argon and helium. And it's an absolute nightmare to deal with. Like, you seriously couldn't have just made helium white or something? Like, honestly, it could have been red and sulfur could have been a different color. Or they could both be red, so that way we don't have three blues. Cause like, oh my goodness, it's really, really annoying. Beep! Off I go! To Desolo!
another unfortunate thing is um, the satellite node and the fact that whenever you look at the different planets to land on, um, it's a uh, it's it can be a little difficult to tell which planet is which if you don't know their positions and or symbols which absolutely confused my friend whenever he uh, played a little bit with me and I showed him the satellite let's see there they are I, my favorite thing about Dusselo is how silly the the solar panels act because even though on the Astropedia it says that sun is a high resource it's only around for like maybe 15 seconds at a time and it's really really funny but it also makes getting power really frustrating because it's super inconsistent so even though it says sun is high and wind is low, I would um, recommend more windmills than solar panels on Desilo. But I sincerely doubt most people make bases on Desilo since it's a pretty common practice to just destroy the whole thing. Which I want to follow tradition and do the same thing. But that will take a long time. <laughs> And we haven't started yet, because I'd rather uh, get a much more uh, comfortable and confident amount of resources before doing that. So we're working on our other long-term goals right now, of building better bases and getting better equipment. Because it would be a bit silly to start the process of taking down this whole behemoth and not being prepared for it. Because then it would get really monotonous. See, the sun's already back up. And I think I even counted it. So it is around 15 seconds. And while I have this drill head, I would like to make a paver, especially for Novus, because I will also be... Uh, paving Novus so it's nice and smooth and not a pain to get around on. Or that's another one of my goals because I was getting really frustrated with it. And I just decided it would be better if I just, just take matters into my own hands and, and deal with it. <laughs> it's ready. Now how about... I'd like to put it near my platform without making it freak out. I think that might be good. Yeah, that'll be good. Another long-term goal I have is uh, making multiple bases on each planet. Which would be pretty fun. Because then we'd have more resources that we can access. Um. Oh yeah, let's see if this is fixed or not. Yes! You reset. That's fine. 
Why are my friends calling? Beep, 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 beep. It's this one. I saw one of them go up here. one it's further ahead I think it was the last stream that I had uh, done that but I had messed it up because it's apparently very easy to bug those things out One more. I especially hate this one because then I have to destroy a bunch of random spots. I really don't like that. material you can't acquire through the trade platform is um, atmospheric resources, but you don't really need them on their own. It's just really used for the chemistry lab. And you can get various things with fault finders, a, um, a, a very end game item at random. But as you can see, it takes a lot of time to use one of these, and it takes forever to, to decrypt and all that stuff. But I think that is all I want to do for today. I know I've been doing uh, slightly shorter streams, but... Um, I'm hungry, and and I'd like to eat something before I get grumpy and and and, and get mean. So, um, this is all for today. Thank you guys for showing up, for chatting with me, and uh, have a good day and farewell. And see you all tomorrow. I think I will play off tomorrow, just to fit with the 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 fifteenth anniversary. Well, the month of the fifteenth anniversary, because I missed the actual day. But, but thank you and farewell. <laughs>